What's up? This is the Moonology deck. Going to be doing a three card general reading. Been a while since I've done reading, so I'm gonna do one from each deck. You're very close to achieving your goal. They give a spoon. And I'll show them all at the end too. Don't let your past hold you back. So y'all might have fucked up in the past, huh? It's okay, we all do it. We was kids. I know, I talk hood. <laughs> I grew up in the hood. <laughs> a lot of people make fun of me for it, but I don't know. I feel like it makes me mean and I'm true to myself, so. South Node, which is also kind of a bad thing, too, for the don't let your past hold you back. Meditate and contemplate. Alright, so. Yeah, you really gotta. I mean, do you really want what you think you want? Because we think we do, but we really like there's better out there for us. We're gonna we're gonna get what we want, but I feel like maybe you should let you, the what you want to manifest go, and like let the universe like guide you to something better. That's what I'm getting because of this card right here. Don't let your past hold you back in the South Node. So I feel like. Maybe you should go after something bigger and better. And it, it it could be anything that you're manifesting. A person, place, thing. Like, do you really? Because I feel like... I feel like what you're trying to manifest isn't, like, the best case scenario for you. And, like, an affirmation that I say a lot is um, everything always happens for me, best case scenario. And I just let it go. Um... Like, meditate, contemplate, like, does this person or situation or thought process or whatever it is, like, does it hinder you? Like, you feel accomplished because, yeah, you've manifested it, but you keep on hurting yourself every time you manifest this, and you know it, yet, and, like, it brings you down once you have it, like, it, this is usually a guy for me. Um, and I need to, like, let that go, but, like, seriously, and if it's a job situation, like, even if it takes a little bit more time, like, it'll pay out in the end, you know, like, the universe has your back, definitely, definitely put out the affirmation every day, this is for anyone and everyone, um, everything always happens to me, best case scenario, and it will if you let it go and don't obsess over it. Because that's another reason why we um, it takes so long for us to get our manifestations is because we obsess over it. There's one thing about being happy about it and there's another thing about obsessing because it's like obsessing also is like creates worry. Like, oh my God, oh my God, why don't I have it yet, you know? So like, I don't want to say, like, what you're doing is wrong or what you're thinking is wrong, but there's just better out there for you. And even you know that. Like, you really do. I don't know, hon. Let it go. See what else the universe has in store for you. I mean, you don't have to let it go, but, I mean, if a better life wants you... And, like, if you're chill with this person, place, thing, situation, then cool. But I feel like deep down you don't want it. So then why chase after it? Another quote is that, like, if any, like, something that is meant to be yours will come to you easily and effortlessly. If you allow it, though. Like, if you hold space. Like, if you are a let go of what's bad for you, what's supposed to be yours will come to you easily and effortlessly and like maybe not in two seconds but it's gonna come to you and like a boy a man a girl a woman a wife a child like stop obsessing over it i mean especially with this card don't let your past hold you back because you know 
I feel like what you're trying to manifest is like gonna hold you back. It might even be for years. Do you really want to be held back for years? I mean, tr like you're close to manifesting it, but you know, some some yeses or some nos are like from what you're trying to manifest are like blessings in disguise. So uh, set your sights higher. Set your goals higher. All right. If this resonates with you, please let me know. I freaking, I, I love this. I love this spread. So I can't wait to hear what it means for you.